Hello, my name's Tom, this is Proper Honest Tech, and this is a Proper Honest Tip, where I'll show you how to do something amazing with your gear as quickly as I possibly can. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your iPad as a second display for your Mac or MacBook. So, let's go! Quickly, before we begin, just ensure that your gear is compatible. You can see the requirements on the screen now, but essentially we're talking MacBooks from 2016 onwards, iMacs from 2017 onwards, and Mac Minis from 2018 onwards on the Mac side. And on the iPad side, all iPad Pros, 6th gen or newer iPads, 5th gen or newer iPad Minis, and 3rd gen or newer iPad Air. If you're unsure as to what you've got, click on the Apple logo on your Mac and choose About This Mac where you'll be able to see what you're working with. On the iPad side of things, head to Settings, then General, and you can see what version you've got just here. Ensure that both devices are connected to Wi-Fi within 10 meters of one another and both are signed into iCloud with the same Apple ID. I'd also recommend ensuring both devices are running the latest operating systems. Still with me? Good, let's show you how to do it. Here on your Mac, click on this icon to bring up Control Center, then click this little arrow just above Display. Down here at the bottom, you can see that we've got iPad to choose from. You can see that in my setup, I've already got my MacBook Pro connected to a secondary display, and this functionality still works even in this case. Choose iPad, and that's it, you're connected. Now on your Mac, choose System Preferences and then Displays. Choose Arrangement. Notice that each of my devices can be seen. If you're unsure what each represents, click on it and look for the red outline on your display. This is my iPad, so I can drag and drop it to correlate to where it actually physically is on my desk, just below the bottom right of my Pro Display. And there you go, you've got your iPad functioning as a secondary display. You can drag things from one display to the other, and you can see that it really does work flawlessly. You can head back into the display settings in Control Center to set things like whether or not you'd like a visible sidebar on the display. You can even see that I use Moom on my Mac, and that even functions here on this iPad. The possibilities are pretty amazing once you get the hang of this. And of course, you're probably going to want to connect to power when you're using your iPad as a secondary monitor, as your iPad is of course going to be on for a long period of time. When you're done, just go back to Control Center and click on iPad to disconnect it. The iPad will return to being a regular old iPad. It's that simple and you can repeat this whenever you need to. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, do please consider leaving me a like and subscribing to my channel for more tips like this in the future. And if there's something you'd like me to cover in a future video, drop me a comment and I'll see what I can do. See you on the next video.